What's wrong with you? Why do you snort so much? You look worried. Well, the boss just has told me to take care of the new apprentice who is coming next month. That's to say, he wants me to be the mentor. And what did you answer? What I'm going to say. I agreed. Well, don't worry. I've been a mentor three times before. It's not difficult. It's simple. And training apprentices is very enriching for the mentor and for the company. Don't worry at all. I can help you. I really appreciate your offer. I feel a bit lost. One of the first things that you should know is that you have to prepare the workspace for the apprentice. What do you mean? It is one of the important aspects for the apprenticeship. The workplace must be adequate to be a place for learning. Keep in mind that the aim of the apprenticeship is learning. Do you have enough room for that purpose in your section? Well, no, but now that you mention, I will size the opportunity and I will ask to remove all these old grinders we have in the workshop in the last eight years and they do nothing but rubbish. That's a good point because it is advisable to have the workspace prepared before the apprentices arrive. Otherwise, they may feel a sense of improvisation or discomfort, wandering in the company, not knowing where to go. No, no. I think we have assigned an appropriate place in our section. I suggest you install a desk with a computer because apprentices often have to make consultation and they are requested to write reports. Do come with me if you wish and have a look at our section. Yes, for sure. I will visit your section before the apprentice arrives. You will also have to provide the apprentice with some tools and equipment. Yes. The boss told me that we have to wait until they come from the training center and get explained in detail what their requests are. I think we can't do anything until then. Of course you can. You can ask for information about the apprentice and don't forget to check about the special needs. Well, I didn't think about it. Thanks that you have mentioned it. Check it, because depending on it, you will have to arrange a meeting with the management team. Remember that under equality law, employers have a duty to make the necessary adaptation for disabled workers and apprentices. We have to make the necessary adaptations to make sure that they have access to everything. Okay, okay, but what kind of adjustments do you mean? Well, yes, I do have some things in mind, for example, ergonomics or simple architectural adaptations. But depending on the disability, other adaptation will be also necessary. Let's check that with the management team. Yes, true, because maybe work accommodation will also be necessary. I mean, adapting working environment, providing assisted devices, uh, modifying working schedules, or redistributing non-essential tasks. Yes, that's a good idea, because other workers may be also be involved in hosting apprentices. It's not only your task. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking that we also have to provide a locker in the locker room for the apprentice and work clothes. I'm not sure if we already have all this arranged. I will comment it with my section team. Yes, and I will also recommend you to have a look at the Mentor Train course. It is a program for mentors to be ready for apprenticeships. There you will find some videos which clarify what you have to have in mind for being a mentor. I really appreciate this help. I was worried because I didn't know even how to start. It's a pleasure. You will tell me how everything is going on and don't forget to have a look at the Mentor Train course.